how to, how to stop your chain from jumping off your chain ring. Now, if you ride an e-bike, this can create a pretty big difficulty. I used to have chains which would jump off into here, and it was, well, initially, before I really got used to it, it was almost impossible to get out. I couldn't pull them out. This time it happened, it took 20 minutes. And, uh, I was like 2,000 kilometers in. And so, some e-bikes, you have a decent, most bikes, you just pull it out and it's okay. But, some e-bikes have a decent amount of clearance, but in this e-bike, and there are other e-bikes with mid-drives, you've got no clearance. Uh, so, one time I had a chain snap, and uh, I ended up getting my stuff stolen because I had left it when I went to get the bike picked up. So, from then on in, I became religious every week about cleaning the chain. You don't have to take the chain off to clean it. But I used to I'm used to basically, um, that's not super clean, but it's clean enough. It's not a, it's a bicycle chain, not a plate for eating on. Um, I used to, um, just add lubricant on, occasionally clean it. And, uh, when I started cleaning it once a week and, uh, with degreaser, and then I add, uh, I was using, at the time I was using Makoff, um, uh, wet lube, now I use Squirt, it was like a wax based lube. But the upshot is, is that from then on in, I never had a chain jump. You know, and this is an e-bike when you're getting 250 watts, extra and 80 newton meters of extra torque. So, um, just clean, you don't have to, you're just cleaning your chain and lubing it will uh, will significantly re reduce the chance of it jumping and uh, and of course then uh, replacing it when it gets to 0.5% uh, or at least 0.75% like I said that's not super clean I had some strip lube on it I just had it in the petrol so it's not crazy clean but it's clean enough so yeah if you you should all, uh, regularly clean your chain, especially if you're commuting every day on the e-bike. It will make your life a whole lot easier. You won't have uh, your far less issues with chain jump. And presumably this applies to this applies to regular bikes as well. Yeah, but it's more of an issue with e-bikes when you can't just you can't just grab it and pull it back out like. Now, if this happens, if, I, if, I, if that happens, jumps in there, now I just have a pliers and a chain pliers and I just basically just disassemble the chain and uh, take it out and then re-put it, put it back on again. But uh, what a mission. Like I, I saw a Trek Alant 8 had uh, enough clearance. So if you're going to buy a mid-drive e-bike, I'm not saying you shouldn't buy a, a bike with not much clearance, but if you don't have that much clearance between your uh, chain ring and uh, the motor, then that's something you need to think about. Okay, catch you later.